Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to try out the viral makeup trend that's been going on on TikTok. It's the latte makeup trend and it's basically a super blown out, super bronzy, very editorial type of look and I love it so much because I honestly do that for my everyday makeup anyways. And I'm going to use a lot of products that I already have. These are like my must have go-to products. I'll link them down below if you guys don't have them already i also try to do my hair in a more like boho updo i feel like this look looks so good with your hair up like in a messy bun something that's kind of like effortless and beachy if that makes sense so before we get started with today's video make sure you guys subscribe down below hit the bell so you don't miss my next upload also don't forget to like this video for more let's get started I don't have anything on my face right now. I'm actually gonna pin up my hair just so that it's out the way. I like to start off with some vitamin C moisturizing cream. This is by Image Skincare. I really like using vitamin C, especially during the day. It feels so good, it's so lightweight. But next I'm gonna go in with primer. This is by Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish Illuminating Glow Primer. So this also has vitamin C in here as well. And I love this because it gives you a little glow but it doesn't give you the primey, sticky feeling. So I really like that. It's not silicone-y at all. It just feels like moisturizer. So next I'm gonna go in with brows. This is the Morphe Sculpting Shape Wax. And I really like this for our blown out look, super natural daytime look as well. Take the edge of the spoolie and just shape the top. Next, I'm going to take just a brow powder. Just because brow powder is so light, it's not going to disrupt the product we just put down. So this is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Ash Brown. I like to use brown for my brows because I like the neutral type of tone it has. I'm using the darker shade and I'm just filling in any sparse areas. I really like them to look spaced out when I fill them in so it doesn't look so uniform and so dark. I'm going in with some concealer just to carve out the brows and blend in with my skin tone a little bit. Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. I'm just going to take a concealer brush by IT Cosmetics. It's the dual ended one and I'm just going to go in and lightly carve out my brows. I'm not gonna be too precise with this. I'm more so using this to be a base for my eyeshadow. really like this concealer because it's super lightweight and it just blends so easily into the skin. You don't really even see it sitting on top at all. So once everything's all blended out, I'm just going to go in and do the eyeshadow now, just because if we have any fallout, we can clean it up with the foundation. Also gives us time for our primer and all that to settle into the skin. I like using this Mario palette. I broke it though, so all the black is like going everywhere. I like using this for my matte looks just because it has so many options for transition colors and it's easy to blend out, it's super buildable. So if you guys don't have this, this is like my holy grail right now. I kind of want it to look like my drink right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little white at the top of my brow bone and kind of just blend it downwards. So this is going to set everything in place, especially since we just put some concealer down and it's gonna give us a very smooth canvas to blend everything. So now with the same palette, I'm just gonna go in and warm everything up. Just take this brown right here and just kind of warm up the lid and the crease. Now we're gonna go in and just deepen everything up. And we also wanna kind of blend it into the white a lot so there's no lines, no creases. I'm using this brush from Nova Beauty. It's a blending brush. It's the I-05 brush. I really, really love this for all of my transition colors. It does all the work for you. It just blends everything so fast. It's just made my life so much easier. So I'll link it down below for you guys. I'm basically just building up the color until I'm happy with it. And that's going to be our little gradient effect. 
and then we're just gonna deepen it one more time with a smaller brush this is more of like a flat blending brush and i'm just going to just go in directly in the crease this way i'm able to blend it without moving the product too far up my eye because i still want the other colors to show through of course I really kind of want to just smoke out the lash line a little bit so i'm using this like espresso shade i'm just gonna smoke out my lash line i feel like if you keep it a brown color it won't look too defined and that's kind of like what the look we're going for we're going for like a really blown out look so i don't think that using eyeliner is the best bet for this you can clean up the edges with the clean blending brush i just wiped this one off a little bit and i'm just going to blend the edge i kind of want to carve out my <laughs> lids a little bit i'm so bad at it but i want to try it out i'm going to take out a little tiny brush like this in my a lighter concealer not too much lighter because i am going to put a color over it So this is the Nova Beauty i2 brush, works so good. Next I want to go into this Nova Beauty palette and um, they have this shimmery color right here called Lit and this color called Hustle is also like a brown shimmer so I'm going to mix the two and then I'm just going to put it in the middle. I like using my finger just because it blends it really well. I think cutting the crease just helps it stand out a little bit more. This is also an eyeshadow brush, but it's angled, so it's going to help me define the eyes a little bit more. I'm going to use the black shade and just go in. Just like that. And gives it that sultry look. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just clean up everything before we do our foundation. Now for my favorite part is the skin. I'm gonna go in with two colors for the base. So I've been loving this House Labs foundation. This is so good, you guys. So this is a tad bit light for me right now just because I had gotten a tan a little while ago. So I'm gonna mix it with the Surreal Skin by Mario and this is in 17 neutral. This is just a tad bit darker, not too much. The Mario, just dot it. And then just a little bit of house labs. They're both very like skin-like finishes, so I love how lightweight they are. It doesn't make me feel like I have a lot on my skin. It hasn't made me break out at all. I just love it. It doesn't clog my pores. I just love wearing it, especially in the daytime. I have this Kabuki brush by Say Beauty. It's really good at blending out foundation. So I'm just gonna use this to blend everything together. so nice <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see the combination of this is insane such a good amount of coverage but it looks so skin like it's actually pretty crazy and you can wear this without even setting it and your skin just feels like it, it just has moisturizer on and it just smooths everything out i love this now everything's all blended out. I'm just gonna bronze up my skin a little bit. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Concealer Stick. I've been loving this. This color is perfect for my skin tone. I'm using a generous amount for this look since we are doing, you know, a super bronze, blown out look. So I'm gonna just chisel the jawline a little bit. Now I'm just gonna go in and just conceal my eyes just a little bit. I don't like it to be super, super bright with these types of looks, but I'm just gonna do the inner corner. 
gonna use the beauty blender to tap this out. I'm gonna use a banana powder from Huda Beauty just to kind of brighten everything a little bit, but just really set everything into place. I'm gonna go in with Mario Self Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I love this just to set my, my contour a little bit and it just gives you a glow that I love. Circular motions really helps to give you that blown out look. So try to be gentle, but also blend, blend, blend. I love this too because it has like a highlight in it built in. So it just kind of just gives you this overall glow, but also a very blended look. Sorry if my lighting's going in and out, guys. <laughs> love that, I love it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush. I like the bronze all over, so I'm not gonna do too crazy of a color. This is Lovejoy by MAC. I'm just gonna use the same brush and go in and just pat this on top. Just on the cheekbone, very high on the cheekbone in the back area, so it just lifts everything. Gives you a little bit of color. And now I'm just gonna go in at the lower lash line. I think the main thing with this look is it's super blown out on the upper and lower lash line. So I wanna do that same look. I usually don't put anything on my lower lash line. I like a very clean look. But I think for this specific makeup trend, um, the lower lash line like needs to be blown out. So I'm gonna take this concealer brush that I took before on my brows and go in with the same colors. So I'm gonna start off with just a lighter color and then work my way to the darker one. I find that if you always start with a lighter color under your eye, it will give it that blown out look without putting too much darkness under there. And then I'm gonna take one more shade, one more shade darker, and just gonna do the lower outer corner, and that's it. Just to connect the top and the bottom. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with some lips. And for the lip, I'm gonna do just MAC and Cork because it's just a neutral rom color that I've been leaning towards lately. It's also a classic. So I'm gonna do this along the majority of my lip. Like so. And then I'm just gonna dab a little bit of butter gloss. So this is a butter gloss in tiramisu. Classic as well. <laughs> And I'm only gonna put this in the middle and just blot it together. Just gonna set everything into place. And this is the final look. This is the final look. I love how it came out. I love when the light hits the eyeshadow and the super blown out under eye. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more. Also, don't forget to look down below for the description box. I will have all the products that I used in today's video down below. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and join the family. Hit the bell so you don't miss my next upload. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.